Hello everyone. I am BSSP Rajasekhar, Assistant Professor of Mathematics, Government Degree College for Women, Nalgonda. I welcome you to the class on null spaces. In today's class, let us quickly recap the definition of vector space and subspace, which is required when dealing null space. Later, we will discuss about null space of a matrix and we will do some problems on null space of a matrix. Later, we will prove a statement that null space is a subspace of Rn. We already proved that Rn is a vector space. Later, we move on to the problems on null spaces. And finally, we find a spanning set for the given null space. Vector space, we have already seen in our previous classes. Vector space is a non empty set V of objects called vectors on which two operations, vector addition and scalar multiplication, are defined by 10 axioms. Those 10 axioms are for all U, V, W belongs to V and scalar C and D. First one is U plus V belongs to V, closer property with respect to vector addition. And U plus V is equal to V plus U, commutative property of vector addition. U plus V plus W is equal to U plus V plus W, associative property. There is a zero vector O in V such that U plus O is equal to U. And the fifth property is for each u in v, there is a vector minus u in v such that u plus minus u is, is equal to o, the zero vector. Here minus u is called the negative of u. And the sixth property is the scalar multiple of u by c, which is denoted by cu, is in v. That is, cu belongs to v. And c times u plus v is equal to cu plus cv. And the eighth property is that C plus D times U is equal to CU plus DU, where C and D are scalars and U is a vector. And the ninth one is C times DU is equal to CD times U, where CD are scalars and U is a vector. And finally, 1U is equal to U. If all these 10 axioms are satisfied, in a set V, we can say that V is a vector space. The third one is H must be closed under scalar multiplication. So to show that it is a vector, it is a subspace of a vector space, it is enough to prove these three conditions. So these are the concepts which we have seen in our previous classes and useful in this class. Now let us discuss about today's topic, the null space of a matrix. Let us go through this concept using a simple example. Consider the following system of homogeneous equations. Let us take a simple system of homogeneous equations. We have taken two equations. This is my system of equations. Here we have three variables x1, x2, x3. The result is zero. That's why we are calling it as homogeneous equations. So these are linear equations with three variables. Linear homogeneous equation with three variables. For any linear homogeneous equation, we have two options. It may have a zero solution. If you substitute x1, x2, x3, all are zeros, then zero vector zeros will satisfy these two equations. So zero solution is trivial solution. There may be other solutions, other solutions. We need to find the set of such solutions. For any system of equations, there are three possibilities. No solution, 
unique solution, finite solutions. In this case, in the case of a homogeneous equation, no solution case will not be there since zero solution will al always be there. So it is a trivial solution. Here we will find only two solutions, zero solution and a set of solutions. So this is the system of homogeneous equations I have taken. Now we can convert this into a matrix form. If we convert this into a matrix form, then this system can be written as a AX is equal to O, where A is equal to the coefficient matrix 2, minus 5, 7. And here in the second row, 1, 3, minus 5. And x is equal to the set of variables. Here the variables are x1, x2, x3. So there are three variables. And d is the null matrix in a homogeneous equation. So using this a, x, o, we can represent these equations, the system of equation, equations into a matrix form. a, x is equal to So the set of all x that satisfy this equation is called the solution set of system 1. Whatever the vector satisfies this, this relation ax is equal to o is the set of solution set of system 1. So we need to find such solutions in all the cases. We call this set of x that satisfy this matrix equation ax is equal to o the null space of the matrix a if you find a vector x such that ax is equal to o then that set will automatically satisfy this homogeneous equations system so it is enough to find a matrix solution for the equation ax is equal to o to find the solution for the system of homogeneous equation in fact real life situations are converted into these simultaneous homogeneous equations so let us have a definition for this the null space of an m by n matrix a written as null a this is the symbol for null space a so we denote null space of a matrix a by simply null a which is nothing but the set of all solutions of the homogeneous equation ax is equal to We set up all solutions of the equation ax is equal to o is called the null a. So simply we can write it in a set form in this manner null a is equal to set of x such that x belongs to Rn and ax is equal to o. So we have taken u, v, w as our vector. Similarly, here we have taken x as our vector. So to get the matrix multiplication, we need x. Uh, we need x must be in R n. So x is a vector in R n such that it satisfies the equation a capital X is equal to zero, or simply a x is equal to zero. All those such vectors form the null space of A and it is denoted simply by null a. So null a is the set of all x belongs to Rn that are mapped into the zero vector of Rn. So here O is the null matrix and that is the zero vector in Rn. So the 
and this is this is from rn x belongs to rn and that are those vectors are mapped to the null vector null vector of rn it will be a linear transformation we will discuss in a later part about it so that is the concept of null a so let us do a simple problem on this concept let a is equal to the matrix of 2 by 3 1 minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 9 1 and let u is equal to let's say column matrix 5 3 minus 2 determine if u belongs belongs to the null space of a so we have to check whether u is in the null space of a or not to check whether it belongs to null space of a or not we have to check that whether a u is equal to o the zero matrix so let us calculate a u first this is a u a is this matrix and u is our given vector 5 3 2 after multiplying these two we will get it's a matrix multiplication this is 2 by 3 and this is 3 by 1 the result is 2 by 1 matrix so 1 time 1 into 5 minus 3 times minus 3 that is minus 9 minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 plus 4 that is the first step. similarly minus 5 times 5 minus 25 9 times 3 20 plus 27 and minus 2 so after simplification we will get a 0 vector 5 plus 4 is 9 9 minus 9 is 0 and this is also 0 so we got a u is equal to a zero matrix zero 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 matrix so we can say that u satisfies a u is equal to zero so u is in the null space of a u u is one of the solution for the homogeneous equation represented by the given matrix so u is in null a so this is a very simple problem but we need to interpret the results interpret the problem mathematically it is very simple just a multiplication of the matrix and to check whether we get a zero matrix or not but let us interpret this problem to the real situations let us interpret this problem for, for the present current covid situation assume that i have two covid patients a and b they are suffering from three symptoms cold cough and fever the scale of their symptoms are noted in a real number scale and those are the entries of my matrix the first row contains the symptoms the scale of symptoms of patient a one minus three minus two second row contains the symptoms of second patient patient b agent minus five nine and one first column represents the scale of cold second column represents numerical scale of cough and the third column represents fever so our task is to solve this problem that is to find a medicine 
which makes the infection zero that is that is our zero vector so we need a medicine for cold that is x1 first 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 component that is x1 another medicine for cough that is x2 another medicine for fever that is x3 the dosages of me medicine is to be determined so that both the patients are cured that is the infection is zero that is the situation so here in this in this problem we are checking whether the dosage of 5 3 minus 2 x1 is 5 the dosage of x1 that is the drug for cold is 5 units and second one the drug for cough is 3 units the drug for fever is minus 2 units you have to interpret what is minus 2 that is that that is to be interpreted with you before that we need to create a system of vector space with these conditions of course that system should satisfy all the properties of vector space but if, uh, if those things are already done this problem shows you that whether 5 3 minus 2 dosage can cure both the patients our answer is here our answer is yes for this system for this for this system 5 3 minus 2 can cure the patients that means you will get a zero infection so in real cases we need to find all the symptoms you have to calculate uh, you have to prepare a numerical scale exactly that is the real challenge of course but mathematically all the models are ready the thing is we need to find the values exactly as it is a new case new to everyone we can't know the values exactly that is the problem to find those values we need some more tests and some more time it will take some more time so you have to interpret the problems to the real world similarly these three may be some three different colors if you suppose zero zero is a white color we are giving a scale of zero for white color so u is the ratio at what ratio you have to mix the colors to get the zero vector that is white color so for this system this is enough this is one of the solution so similarly we have to interpret the problems to the real world when a mathematical model is prepared it is very simple to solve it the question is we have to convert the real life situation into a mathematical model that is the big problem so if we are able to interpret these results to many of the real life situations we can be able to convert the real life situations into mathematical equations whenever necessary once the model is converted into a mathematical model it is very easy to solve there are many more advanced computing machines to solve any number of variables and any number of variables equations so this simple problem can be interpreted to many things of real life let us move on to the next problem this is a 3 by 3 problem determine if w is equal to 1 3 minus 4 is in null space of a where a is equal to the matrix 3 minus 5 minus 3 6 minus 2 0 minus 8 4 1 the 3 by 3 matrix is given. solution is similar but just we need to calculate au and check whether we are getting a zero matrix or not 
so we are multiplying these two matrices 3 by 3 matrix multiplication 3 times 1 that is 3 minus 5 into 3 minus 15 minus 3 into minus 4 plus 12 similarly 6 into 1 6 minus 2 into 3 minus 6 0 into minus 4 0 minus 8 into 1 minus 8 4 into 3 12 1 into minus 4 minus 4 so these three are the rows in our matrix so again 3 plus 12 15 minus 15 is 0 6 minus 6 0 12 minus 12 is 0 we get a 0 vector so again u satisfies a u is equal to o so u is in null space now. so it is very simple if you know the vector to check whether it is in the null space or not in real world this is if you, if you, if you know the solution you know a set of values after substituting you can say you simply say that whether it satisfies the given equation or not so it is very simple if that situation is converted into a matrix form that is nothing but a simple matrix multiplication if you get a zero matrix then that vector u is in the null space of u. That is one of the solution. That means that is one of the solution of the homogeneous equ equation equivalent to the given matrix A. So this is a 3 by 3 example. Now let us prove a statement on null spaces the null space of an m by n matrix a is a subspace of rn so null space is the set of all solutions so the set formed by set of all solutions of an m by n matrix a is a subspace of rn that is what we have to prove we have already proved that Rn is a vector space in our previous classes. It satisfies all the 10 conditions. That, that is why it is a vector space. So here we have to observe that M by N matrix and subspace of Rn. So it is it is concerned with it is connected with the this N number of columns of the matrix if 3 by 4 matrix is given then it is a subspace of r4 5 by 7 matrix is given it is a subspace of r7 that is what we are going to prove once we have proved this one we can conclude that this is an equivalent statement for me. the set of all solutions to a system ax is equal to o of m homogeneous linear equations in n unknowns is a space of rn is a space of rn so we know that null a is equal to set of x such that x belongs to rn and ax is equal to o so all the vectors of null a are in rn so clearly the set null a is a subset of rn since each and every vector is an element of R. So A O O is our zero vector. A O is equal to matrix zero. 
this is zero matrix if you multiply a null vector that is zero zeros as per the size of this matrix a these two may be different it depends on the size of matrix a this may be a three by one matrix and this may be a two by one column matrix these two may be different the matrix zero is called the is called as capital o and this o is also a matrix of course but it is it depends on the order of matrix a so a o is equal to zero matrix implies o belongs to null a if you multiply with a suitable zero matrix to the given matrix a you will get zero matrix so a u belongs to o means o belong u belongs to null a so here this o belongs to null space a so null space a contains zero vector that is the first condition of our subspace similarly we have to prove null a is closed under vector addition so let us take two elements in null a u and v whenever u and v are in null a we can have this property a u is equal to o and a v is equal to o then a times u plus v is equal to by distributive loss in a vector space this is a u plus a v here u and v are the column matrices so we have with distribution loss in matrices also so this can be written as a u plus a v but a u is equal to zero matrix and a v is also zero matrix so the result is another zero matrix so from this we can conclude that u plus v is in null a since a a into some u plus v is equal to o then this vector will be the solution that means it is in null a null space of a that is null a u plus v is in null a so null a is closed under vector addition so this is the second property of the subspace is proved here finally we will prove that null a is closed under scalar multiplication if c is any scalar then a times c u is equal to this c can be taken out of u u is a column vector column matrix so you can take out the c from the from this matrix multiplication so this is c times a u we know that since u is in null a a u is equal to zero matrix so if you multiply with a scalar you will get again zero matrix itself so c u is in null a c u is also a solution for the given homogeneous equation and for the given uh, and con converted matrix equation ax is equal to o. so c u is also in the null a so null a is closed under scalar multiplication as we have proved all the three conditions we can say that null a is a subspace of r and so whenever we are saying that it is a subspace it satisfies all the conditions all the 10 conditions of the vector space now let us move on to one more problem let h be the set of all vectors in r4 
whose coordinates a b c d satisfy the equation a minus 2b plus 5c is equal to d and c minus a is equal to d show that h is a subspace of r4 after rearranging the given equations the equations can be written in this form a minus 2b plus 5c minus d is equal to 0 and minus a plus c minus d is equal to 0 so now it is a system of homogeneous equations this can be represented in the matrix form of course it is given that h is the set of all solutions of the above system h is the set of all solutions for this system so if a is equal to the coefficient matrix of the system 1 minus 2 5 and minus 1 minus 1 and the coefficient of b is missing that's why it is 0 here and 1 minus 1 then h is nothing but null space of a Null A is the solution set for this matrix and it is the solution for the given system of equations as well as. So if you denote the system of the, sol the set of all solutions by H, H is nothing but null space. So from the previous theorem, we know that Null A of an M by N matrix is a subspace of Rn. Here, and the set of all solutions of the system Ax is equal to O of M homogeneous linear equations with N unknowns is a subspace of Rn. These two are equivalent uh, statements. Here, A is an a is a 2 by 4 matrix. Our A is here, two rows are there and four unknowns are there. So it is a 2 by 4 matrix. So here N is 4. So H is equal to null A is a subspace of R4 as per our previous theorem. So if you know the order of a matrix, by watching the number of columns in the order of matrix, you can simply say that that is a subspace to the R power number of columns. For an M, M by N matrix, it is Rn. Finally, let us go through this problem. Find a spanning set for the null space of the matrix a is equal to minus 3 6 minus 1 1 minus 7 1 minus 2 2 3 minus 1 2 minus 4 5 8 minus 4 the 3 by 5 matrix is given 3 by 5 matrix is given so the solutions are in r5 you have to find all such solutions. So you can easily form a equivalent homogeneous system like minus 3x1 plus 6x2 minus 6x3 plus x4 minus 7 x5 is equal to 0. Similarly, remaining two equations. So you have to find the find all the solutions for that homogeneous equation so to find null space of matrix a we need to find a general solution of ax is equal to o in terms of free variables so we have to solve this problem to find the free variables and to solve the equations discussed earlier so to solve this one let us take a take an aug augmented matrix augmented matrix is nothing but 
uh, column matrix O is added to the given matrix. That is the matrix of A O. So in the last column, null the entries of null matrix are added here. All are zeros. So now it became a three by six matrix. Now we have six columns. So by operating elementary row operations, we can reduce the equation into a clan form. So we have row operations, elementary row operations. We can add a row to another one. We can multiply a row with a scalar. We can add the multiple of some scalar to another row or we can divide with any scalar and we can interchange the rows these are the elementary row operations by performing r1 gives raise to we call it we call it simply goes to but r1 gives raise to r1 plus 3r Similarly, R3 goes to R3 minus 2R2. After performing these two operations on this matrix, R1, R1 is added to 3R2. This was multiplied by 3 and added to the first row. So 3 minus 3, 0. Similarly, 6 minus 6, 0. Minus 1 plus 6. 5 similarly 10 minus 10 0 second row is as it is no change in the second row and third row is also changed by using this elementary operation r3 minus 2 r2 so 2 minus 1 into 2 2 minus 2 is 0 minus 4 and this is plus 4, that is 0. 5 minus 4, that is 1. Similarly, 2 minus 2, is 0. So after performing these two operations, this augment matrix converted into this form. After interchanging R1 and R2, since we are zeros here, we can interchange R1 and R2 by interchanging these two, we can get this matrix. And here we can find 5, 10, minus 10. That's why we are dividing this R2 by 5. So this became 1, 2, minus 2. So we can deduct R3 from R2 so that we we'll get zeros. We both the rows are same. That's why after deducting R3 from R2, we get all zeros in the third row. So finally, R1 goes to R1 minus 2R2 implies this one. Now this is in the reduced Eclan form. We we'll get all the zero rows are in the last, last rows. The number of leading entries in the first row is less than the, uh, the position of leading entry is left to the leading entry in the next row. So it is in the reduced Eclan form. So this, this matrix form is equivalent to if this was converted into a system of equations, we will get x1 minus 2x2 minus x4, x3 is missing, 3x5 is equal to 0, and this one x3 minus 2x4 minus 2x5 is equal to 0. So the system of equations, the given system of equations is converted or simplified to this one. The general solution of this equation is 
this first equation can be written as x1 is equal to 2x2 plus x4 minus 3x5. The second equation can be converted as x3 is equal to 2x4 plus 2x5. Here we can find that x2, x4 and x5 are free variables. So any value satisfying these equations will be the set of our solutions. To find those, let us write these values in the column matrix form. Now x1 is from the above two equations, we can write x1 is this one, 2x2 plus x4 minus 3x5. So this is x1, x2 is x2, x3 for x3 also, there is an equation that is carried to here. X4 is X4 and X5 is X5. So these can be written as X2 times. So X2 is here, that is 2 and 1. Here there is no X2, that is why 0, no X2, 0, 0. Plus, next to free variable is X4. X4 is 1 time here. And it is absent here and minus two times one time. So this is the column matrix for x4. Similarly, x5 is another free variable. This is minus three times here and it is absent here. So zero and it is two, two times here. It is absent here in the fourth row and it is one time in the fifth row. So this column matrix can be written in this manner. So if we take this first matrix as V1, U, and this is as V, W, if you name it as U, V, W, this is in, of the form of X2, U plus X4, U plus X5, W. So it is a linear combination of these three vectors. So every linear combination of U, V, W is in value A. So any linear combination, any vector form U, formed by using the, these three vectors, uh, these three matrices will be a solution of the given matrix A. Will be, will be in null space of A. Equivalently, those will be the solutions for the homogeneous equation, equations formed by the given entries of the matrix. So UVW is the spanning set of null A. That is null A is equal to span of UVW where U and VW are given together. So span of this one. That is the Span. This is the spanning set. Spanning set is UVW. Here this is one. Here this one. Null A is span of this one. So any linear combination of these three vectors will be the solution for the given A. Let us check. Check it. So the given matrix is copied here. In, a, in an Excel format, and this is the vector formed by these three U, V, W. We can take any linear combination. I have taken 8, 2, 0 uh, as my scalars. The linear combination of this one is 18, 8, minus 4, 2, 0. If you multiply this matrix with this, with this column matrix, we are getting we are getting a null matrix. Similarly, if you change these scalars, you can take any scalar in these spaces, you will get a, another vector here. If you multiply that vector with this one, you will get two zeros. So this is another example. Three, I have taken here three minus two seven with these with these weights. I got a new vector and this vector is multiplied with this with the given matrix after multiplication I got only zeros. You can also check it. Let us do some more live 
examples this is the excel sheet so if i take anything any number 5 here 6 6 7 minus 13 okay these are the weights so i got a new vector here and that is multiplied with this one matrix multiplication is carried here these are formulas we are not simply zeros you will get zeros if you get if you multiply this one with any other vector other than the vectors formed by the linear combination of these three you will not get zeros for example i will change this I will destroy the formula and change this. I will put one here. So after putting the one, after multiplying, this is a new vector. This is not a linear combination of these three vectors. So after multiplying this, I am getting a non-zero vector. So this is not a solution. So all the vectors which are a linear combination of these three. So 